you have to do them one by one and it's complicated and it's timely whereas with this you can just enjoy the moment push it through the machine once pop them in a little jar have them there so if you're feeling like a painting day you can paint them up if you're feeling like a stencil -y day and you want to use your stencil brushes and stencil them up you can absolutely do that so you can do background and foreground with these and this is the beauty of them with having that inlay die in or out you can create 3d embellishments so like at christmas time i always do foliage and flowers and the dies cut out the shape yeah. but they don't put the detail in so now having the capability to have that shape and have that 3D HD embossing on there as well is absolutely wonderful. So you can create your own little masterpieces. I love that. Creating masterpieces, reels, all the detail is there for you. And now it is a brand new launch, a brand new and exclusive world launch. This is the only place to get them. And you have got also two flexes in the club. If you want to flex it in the club, of course, then you open a flexi basket and then you can add other items so you can shop ahead. Two payments of 19 pounds and 79 pence and half the stock has gone with an eight pounds and 40 pence saving if you are in the club 727 386 is your item number uh now we have got more on the show for you and uh, I always, you know, I'm going to tell you one sort of thing. Well, I mean, I, you probably have heard this me say before. When they say camera right or camera left, yes. I get so, so confused. confused. I know. Even if they say left or right, I get confused. Imagine when it comes to like camera, it's like, which way? Looking at the camera <laughs> from the camera? You know, that's, that, that's too much information. Oh. Uh, right. Now, we have got a mystery bundle here. And this is four die sets. And of course, four die sets that you are getting at a phenomenal price. You are seeing over 60 pounds unless you are in the club in which case it's over 70 percent now this look at the saving it's crazy what do we are we gonna get there so here? although it says contents may vary the only reason we put that you should get this but the only reason we put that is because uh, if i have to swap out right. one and it's different then obviously it has to be contents may vary so the likely chances you will get this but if not, you may get some nesting rectangles, some bubble frames, some stitch frames. So here we go. So just to show you the grand scale of what you're getting in this collection. Now, this is 18. When we launched this, this was 18.99 on its own. So this is right. an inlay play that's beautiful for paper piecing. I'm already thinking of the florals from the new and exclusive creeped around the one corner, painted or not painted. So this stays in the page if you want to. So it's not a choice of ladies and gents. It's all of them. So that's Perfect. that one. Then we get this huge one here, which again, if you put sparkly card or watercolour paper behind, it looks absolutely wonderful. So I think you're going to get away with a lot of masculine cards with these ones. It's quite geometric type styly ones, but you can obviously make them beautiful and, and feminine too. And then we have this one. So yesterday I used the sort of one that stays in the page and this one's in my demo today. So I'm just trying to show you one how wonderfully they're cut and two how they can be used for a plethora of different type, types of craft. You can add your... You can add these on your jelly plate, I suppose. Absolutely. I think that's your jelly plate. Well, that would jelly be plates. absolutely amazing. I adore this one. I think this one is such a... I love these sort of dice because you can, you can colour in, like using your alcohol markers or watercolours. Yeah, I would like to say it'd be beautiful as paper piece, but I do not have the patience for that. Mm -hmm. But equally, mm -hmm. you could just paper piece one of the flowers, the leaves, if you wanted to. And then they get the two matten layers as well on that one. Now, these are big dies, so you can see there. But let me just grab one of the dies out just yeah. to make... Yeah, oh, sure. well, I'm going to go you for You do this. that one. Yeah. And I'll do this one, just because obviously it's nice to see the die cuts. But I do want you to appreciate the sheer amount of uh, metal... Me and Powell's I mean, got you here. are getting top quality metal in here, lots of it, and of course you can see there that you, I mean, paying twenty-two pounds and fifty pence for all sides. Well, that's how much that would be yeah. now because of the increasing price of metal and things like I mean, that. So you just you are getting, like I mean, buying one get three free. Exactly. Three, I mean, three. you are getting these two, and you're thinking, okay, so twenty-two pounds and fifty pence. That is incredible. It's two for one. But no, you are getting two more dice sets of that sort of shape uh, size. So. Now, remember, the contents may vary. You may get these designs, but you may get an, an alternative ones. But they will be the valued is guaranteed, yeah. as well as is the, uh, of course, the quality of the dice. 70% saving when you go, oh, you are in the club, 53 pounds and 46 pounds. Now, if you're going for the brand new and exclusive and you're adding that in, you can pay just 11 pounds and 25 pence because you have got the flexi buy option now um you can stand in here and you can see all your beautiful face with it if i stand there it's, it's, yeah, gonna, it's, my, yeah, it's, it's a good my, job it was meant to yeah, be yeah exactly yeah that that's that's a perfect way to put it this place so i was thinking about you this morning yeah 
So, right, so where do we get Four here? stamps in this one, so four A5 stamps, so very similar to the die um, bundle, but this time if you're a stamper, then we've got you covered with your stamps, so if you like your die cuts, then that one, I would probably say get both, because the combined price of this is like 100 plus pounds. Um, so let, that's right, do you want me to just show you that on the white? Yeah, yeah that was better, yeah, you can see it there. So and all A5 Paula, so that's the background one, and it's very in keeping with the craft element, illustration style, art, dream, modern, symbols, names, um, that one, and you can highlight and do distressed backgrounds, just stamp a portion of it, just stretch the stamp and just use a corner so you get those lovely backgrounds, but equally a focal if you want to. So that's that one, and then down by the front here you get this beautiful large fork, floral, and then, yeah, I'll give you that again. I love that, and that is a larger stamp as well. Go, go, oh, yeah, there it is. So that's that one, and then you can cut, this one looks beautiful, coloured up, um, this one was hand drawn by me many moons ago and then we have the wonderful sort of um, banner which is an A512 with those beautiful words now these make gorgeous repeating borders squares around patterns if you've got your sort of twisting stencil system where you get the repeating pattern element these are so so cute and then at the top here I'll just show you these ones because these ones are quite big and they do jewel up as sort of snowflake yes ski designs yeah. as well Okay, and you've got the solidy stamps in there as well, all A5. So again, you may get these, you may get some flowers, you may get um, some sentiments, but again, equal to the value, um, and you're going to get four A5. Well, if you want yours, uh, it's a steal, it absolute is. steal. £53.46, that is the saving, you're just paying £22.50. 935323 is your item number, and of course the best way to check your baskets out is the website createandcraft.com. You can shop ahead, of course, you can see all, all sorts of watercolour paints, the neon ones from Thirsty Brush, and of course we have got the papers, uh, which we are going to have a look at them in a second in here uh, but of course the brushes as well they are uh, very cult classics there as well so there is a lot of different uh, possibilities in there of course with these brushes this beautiful quality with the wallets as well that they are standing as well right we have got lots more on the website createandcraft.com so have a look there to uh, and fill your baskets remember cap and p are three pounds and 95 pence per order Super right. cool. So don't look at the state of mind. They've changed since you saw them. Ooh. They were clean yesterday. Now they're a bit... Uh, they're well loved. They're, they're well loved. It's just a bit of ink. They just need a clean. Yeah. Okay. So basically, you get the three in there. And as you can see, the die is built in. And it's just held in place here with a little bit of low-tack tape. Okay. So you can see, just stuck in there. When you run these through, all of the embellishments are going to just drop out. And you're going to have a whole bunch of different 3D mm. embellishments that you can um, utilise on your cards. They're really, really wonderful and quick as well, which yeah. really, really cheers me up. So if you want to do your traditional background and not um, sort of do the die cut element, I'll just show you how it comes out. So you just take the die and there we go. Right. So now I have my 3D embossing fold. That's going to create a wonderful background. But again, if you want to pop it back in, it goes back in super easy. You can see there's just a little bit of tape there. And if you just use your wonderful tape runners oh, or your perfect, yeah. uh, Create and Craft tape pens, yeah you can just tape them back in now they'll only tape in back in one way watch let me show you so if you try and tape it in this way you'll be like oh it don't line yeah. up so all you need to do is just turn it around until you line the design up okay and it just sort of like you know like yes. it clicks back in yeah. place and then you can just stick it back in place and it'll be in there forever and you can see it's got that sort of like one mil design mm -hmm. all the way around so there we go so that's basically it in a nutshell you get all three peony rose and dainty hibiscus so shall we just crack on and just show you how they work let's do let's do the wonderful uh, rose here so there are options i would say keep it as it is that's how it's been built but you can have the scope to do way more so let's just pop some black card into here and let's just run it through and let it just do the die cut on there super easy let's just move this out of the way so they go through all of your uh, machines just check your plate settings because obviously all the machines are different so with mine i only need two I tried with three yesterday oh yeah well <laughs> you know sometimes you you know you try a little bit more and it then you realize through, that it doesn't yeah. work so so just run this one through and then um, out the end we'll pop some beauty for the embellishments. Now traditionally when you run your die cuts through you just end up with a shape with no emboss. But now we have our HD 3D embossing folders. You're going to get that lovely depth and dimension in your cards. So let's just move that out of the way. 
Oh. And you can see they all just sit in the pouch and just pop, yeah, yeah. pop them out. And then what I'm going to do is we have the wonderful, and also what is cool about it is, and we said this yesterday, is we have a wonderful stencil as well now. I, I think well. that would be the most beautiful, beautiful. like with your sprays. Yeah. Or even also, you know when you do the technique with the confetti inks that you kind of dab tap. in there, yeah. tap, just to create a little bit kind of... You know, Sometimes they're the best right. days out there just yeah, playing. I, playing. Love, I love days do like that. Do you do that? Like when you just kind of get a few ends? I wish I had more time yeah, to yeah, do yeah. that. I can't um, imagine. But, You're a busy woman. But when I've all got it all out on the table, sometimes I just go off and yeah. they're like, oh, I need to feed my yeah. son. <laughs> uh, I, you know what? I, I, I sometimes I, thought, I felt very, very guilty cat mom yes, uh, to, yeah, this morning because I realised that um, they ran out of water through the night, and I, oh. you know, and I was like, oh, poor thing. So you can see that lovely yeah. dimension in there. There's about four or five layers in there. Let's just show you how they ink up. So in the show, we also have these wonderful metal um, eyes ink, ink pads. Now, they're slow drying, so you can use them for um, your embossing mm. powders yes. and things like that. But it's super inexpensive, and they're like a gilding paste, gilding wax what yes. you put on your finger and you rub on but they're just a little bit of a shortcut being in this sort of like pad formation so i'm just going to take the pad and i'll just lightly brush over and it'll just pick up the highlights on this lovely um rose here so i'm using the one that looks red but on mm. here because it's black it's going to come through as a silver tone a pinky silver so i'll just brush 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 and then we'll hold it up and show you how wonderful it is it looks like a metal embellishment now yes it is so that's like the rose and then let's do a green one for the Look at that. So, oh, that's beautiful. Because if I show you the bag of it, you can see that it's very plain uh, black card. And then that's the beautiful thing. Uh, they are a fabulous uh, set of uh, six of 49 pence and 89 pence. And of course, you can, uh, you can see all uh, six of them. And there's a green leaf if you yeah. want to. So you can get that metal look. You can do the distressed look. They're really, really wonderful. I mean, they're just wonderful. Yeah, I just yeah. love them. So now, because I would die cut a ton and then build my own composition. So let's go ahead and use the one. Um, let's just show you without. So let's do this one without the die. So this is the one that you saw me pull the die out of. And let's do it on, shall we do it on some gold to show you that maybe you don't want a colour sometimes. Maybe you just want a beautiful embellishment. Well, you can absolutely do that too. Just pick your, your cards, your holographics, whatever you've got in your stash, your glitter card, and you get beauty, excuse me, beautiful results with that as well. So, uh, yeah. a quick tip for you, if you're wanting the emboss to come right, up to the yeah. front, okay, just feel that it's raised on the back. Once you it's raised on the back, you know the raise is going to push to the front. Right. So maybe pop an F or a T for top. Right, yeah. So you know if you are using this sort of card, you're not going to... Use it in emboss the, other the wrong way. side, yeah. So let's go in here. Unless you want to do have a deboss side, yeah. you know. Well, that would be. that's the beauty of our HD embossing folders because the dimension is on the front and the back. Right. New technology, you're going to see the deboss on it. It's incredible. So let's just run this one through. Super easy. I just um, love how much um, you get out of an embossing folder yeah. and super affordable and the things that you can do with embossing folders are pretty indestructible aren't yeah. they and, and, and this is all that detail and that sophisticated uh, you know detail that is just can you remember when you bought ever bought your first embossing folder oh yes how long yeah. ago would you say it was um so that would have been 2000 and was it 2006 Thank you. i think 2005 2006 wow it was Cattle box, and it was. I remember Art Stitches, which was a trade show, and Thank I was you. like, Wow! I know I bought um, a Sizzix one, yeah, oh, that was my first ever it was one. Right, yeah. I just think they're just awesome, and they've got better, better, better. And better, better. Yeah. Let's just show you this. So, this is just oh, if wow. so that's just if you don't want to use the yeah. dye and you want to create a nice yeah. background. I mean, it's just like. I mean, it's, it's that kind of you pay a lot of money for something like this if you are, you know, like like a card. I think this would be a premium, like just like a card like this, trim it down, matte and layer, a beautiful sentiment. That's all you need. Think about your alcohol inks if you wanted to. You don't need much to do to it. Absolutely. And you could brush over with an yeah. ink pad and highlight the areas if you wanted to. Is it just so, so cool? That is like a backing on a card. All it needs is a sentiment. Look, just pretend. Yeah, look at that. Just like a sentiment. Anyway, yeah. 
and your card is literally done. Great for sympathy because it really doesn't say much. It's just a focal point on there, isn't it? So let's go ahead and create a pretty card. Now we sort of like get the idea of how this system works. So ahead of time, I have cut some in white. I don't know if yeah. that will show. I want oh, to show you how wonderful yeah. they are in white because they're totally awesome in white. Um, that so just they're just beautiful. beautiful. The, I mean, the detail, if you, I mean... The techno if you look at, I can't tell you how many veins are in that leaf. The technology. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. I have to say that usually leaves, I don't look at them that much, but these ones are just so beautiful. At the look yesterday, mm. uh, I did it with Charlie, and I felt like they looked like a mould that you could Oh, you yes. Know, stick. So and the, if you like, do... The moulds that Katie Sue had on yesterday, I was in awe. Yeah, they are beautiful. Little, oh, she's gone over. Oh, but I if like... you do the paper mould uh, technique, so if you do... Is it um, this alternate that is like uh, the uh, paper, like toilet paper, if you put it and one layer, then splits water, another layer, and then splits, and yeah. then you run it through, that will give you like a paper clay. Absolutely. And our embossing folders, my friend Adele used them with air dry clay. Oh, nice. So she did an imprint nice. into air dry clay and then dry brushed yeah. on it. Quite cool, that. Mm. It's a bit too cool for me. I'm not, you know, I'm not the cool kid yeah. at the moment. Well, I, to, I think you have to tell yourself. Is, but I, yeah. I do like um, to see people use them in a different way. So I've got a super large die that's um, yeah. available in that goodie bag there. So you're probably going to get this one, which is wonderful. You can see it's an absolute card filler. It's totally lovely. So first of all, let's 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 do our flowers first. So. Yeah. They look wonderful in white. You can see that incredible detail on there. But shall we add a bit of colour but not sort of like get too arty with it? I don't want to sort of like um, get people stressed over having too or having not too colour. So the way that I sometimes like to colour, which is sort of like gives you the look but without the stress of light and shade, is let's just grab, let's do, yeah, let's just do, be safe, let's do pink. So I'm just going to pop some pink onto my mat here. And then I'm just going to give it a spritz with some water. And then I'm just going to take the uh, die cut and dip it in. And it falls into the nice. recess. Can yep. we see there? So it picks yep. up all of that detail there. So I'm happy with that. I'll just move that blob. Um, I'm happy with that. I'll move that to a side. That looks like I've spent a bit of time painting. I actually haven't. So and then just spray again. And if you want to go in with your brush and add some more detail, of course you can do that too. But this is just a way of getting that colour laid out. Yeah, it's just so add a nice. Bit more colour and when on it there. goes, when it's um, a lot of water in there, it goes into the crevices as yeah, well, it and it just gives you that depth as well. It does look there we go. Yeah, so it sits in all of those recesses. If you've got any lumps or bumps you're not sure of, just rub them out with your finger. So that's the green. Sorry, that's the pink. So let's do some green. I love this because you get instant results, and if you're needing quick cards, you know you're really going to get yeah. the instant cards really. So again. But again, if you want to pop embellishments, look at that, <laughs> pop embellishments into your card um, on the deboss, it's, they are incredibly beautiful on yes. the deboss. So that is the um, bot embossed. And then look at the debossed. It looks, yes, even so look nice. at the detail on the debossed. It's so, so pretty. So let's just get a little bit of a darker green on here. A few pools of green going on now. So water that down a bit. Let's just mix this into here. And then let's just pick up a bit more green. So it just sort of like catches the highs and lows. So that's that one. Let's. It's such a, a lovely effect, isn't it? And I would probably batch make with these. Just dip them in, pop them to one side, um, and then have them to play with whenever you need mm. to make a quick card. So there we go. Get a bit of pink on that bud there. Um, let's stop there. I think you get the idea. And it's Perfect. a cool technique, and it only requires a bit of water and an ink pad. Really. Okay. But if you want to spend time colouring, of course, get your brushes out. I've put brushes in the show as well because they're wonderful, and you can paint and enjoy the moment. So let's bring in our wonderful card. Perfect. And then, so is that a five? No, is that a bit bigger? It's than a bit a five? bigger than yeah. a five by seven. I like so, my tent fold, which folds at the top. I, me too. Do you? Yeah. I don't know. It's just like. Little tent, you know, so I don't know, it gives it a different look. And then you can do also put it horizontally, yeah. which I, I love that. I don't know if there's something. Nice. So I have a piece of white here too. So a bit of. The glue is behaving today. I I came in and made sure I, 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 I pre warmed him. Yeah. Did, did you have. <laughs> I had a you word. Know, very strong word. If it's not my glue, it's my nose. Yeah. So. Well, for me, it's my cough that it's never, you know, it's not shifting. <laughs> you got a tickly yeah. cough. Yeah, well, I. You know, it's one of those ones. I had a really bad cold, even though I was feeling fine. It was a kind of, and then 
coffee stays forever with me. Yeah. I think since the um, pandemic and things like that, there's lots of lurgies and things hanging around oh. in, 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 yeah. in the cupboards. Yeah, we're getting stronger though, aren't we? Our immune systems yes. are getting better Hopefully. and better. So I'm here we have that, that lovely sort of detail there. So that's going to give us a bit of detail. So that's going to give us a bit of detail on the back. And I like white on white, but of course, if you like a bit of colour, you can change it up and add some colour if you want to. Okay. So I have also stamped Hello Sunshine from the wonderful Spring Collection here. And I got a piece of gold, which is all now messy. I'm just going to stick this to the base of my sentiment to create a little bit of a gold drop yeah. shadow underneath rather than it just be flat white we're going to go with a bit of a that's nice drop shadow on there super easy and then you can stick this wherever you want so let's pop this on here and have a look there it's so elegant and of course the dye but that background dye is part of that goodie bag well not goodie bag but it's it's a kind of a mystery bag that uh, you're going to get four dyes of that size uh, and it's an incredible deal saving 70 percent if you are in the club and remember this is a bundle that the contents may vary but probably you're going to get the ones that you can see um, that we showed earlier on so i'm just going to take some pad here on a roll and I'm just going to so now I always say build your composition before you stick it all right I'll put these not really dry but let's just have a play see where we're going with our design but normally when we do these sort of um, things we we don't have the embossed detail we yeah. have the wonderful um, die cut elements and we have to pinch and mold and things like that whereas now we don't have to do that so let's just pop this on here they're still a bit soggy. Oh, we don't like soggy. We don't like soggy, soggy. flowers. No. Not today. But they will dry. They'll they dry. will dry, yeah. Oh. Although, to be fair, out oh. of everything that could be soggy, a soggy <laughs> flower isn't that bad. You know? <laughs> <laughs> there could be worse soggy yes. things. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Soggy socks. <laughs> oh, that's well, your top. If you've soggy shoes as well. Yeah, that if you stepped soggy. in a puddle when you've been walking oh. the dog and the stodgy. Uh, let's not go. <laughs> let's not talk about soggy pieces of clothing. That would be really bad. There's no worse than being wet. Oh, it's awful. <laughs> okay. Is there right. wet clothes? There's nothing worse. I hate getting wet. I hate it when you have a brolly and it's rainy and windy. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, let's yeah, just take reason here. See, I don't mind not having an umbrella. I like, you know. But well, you need the brolly to stay dry, but the wind just doesn't allow it, does it? It's like it's going inside out. You might as well have just not bothered. You might as well yeah. have just got soaked. Yeah. Absolutely. So I'm just building my composition. And again, this is the beauty of these wonderful individual elements. You can, I can build my own, I could keep going on this card. I'm building, I'm building, I'm building. So let me just add <coughs> this base around here. And then I probably would add some wonderful sparkles. Spoke, spoke too soon, didn't you? Oh, so it's yes. on its way out now. Oh. It's like you said. Yeah, I said. You know, it's, it's like that cover. It's just that. You know, but at the minute, it's like an itchy thing. Oh, look at that. So there I we love go. That. So ding, ding, ding. Classic. And then just like, I did yeah. colour it. It just looked after itself because of that beautiful HD 3D. The ink just fell into those wells and created something that looks quite classic in design. Now you can add sparkle. I would add sparkle. Too. Oh, a little bit of a glitter, a little bit of an embossing powder or something like that. Or you can leave it like as it is. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. You can see the beautiful gold coming through as well. The beautiful elements in there as well. The depth of that, of course, the beautiful. Uh, oh, they, had, they, they have put us in prison, in crafty prison. Oh, no, why? I don't know. He's just, yeah, it is like. I'll kind tell of, you what, we would have fun in craft oh, prison. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, we would. I mean, we were just like We'd really be yeah. rocking. As prison. long as we have got crafty goodies, and of course, if you want to get any crafty goodies, well, a, you need to check your baskets out, and you can do that on the website or giving us a call or tapping the app. And in the meantime, well, let's have a look at more about Stamps by Me. My name is Tony Darrock and I am the Creative Director at Stamps By Me. We are a family global company who pride themselves on sharing the love of craft. Most crafters sit at home wondering, will I ever become a painter? Will I ever become an artist? Stamps By Me create all of the products you're going to need to become one of those people. You don't have to be a trained artist, you don't have to be a colourist. The products you have in your hands from Stamps By Me are going to allow you to become the creator and the master of your own designs.
We love to give inspiration, step-by-step -step tuition, allowing you to be creative with your products every single day. Create and Craft have the same ethos as Stamps by Me, togetherness, inspiration and creativity. If you genuinely want to feel inspired, make sure you don't miss any of our Stamps by Me shows. And of course, uh, we have got the creative director of the Stamps by Me here. Yeah, I thought I'd give myself a posh name. Oh, that, I actually, I, I think it's a, a very adequate well, name. Well, I am the creator. I have the ideas. Yeah, the ideas. And you have got a team that helps you I to make them. I absolutely have, thank in. goodness, because I wouldn't be able to be here as often as I am with the wonderful designs. And our designs are not just a stamp or yeah, just so. a die now. We, you know, the concepts Stencils, that come out still. Uh, yeah, quack quack the, D, yeah exactly. 3D, it's just absolutely. incredible. And beautiful papers as well, because we have got here a set of, well, two, you are getting both of them. You are getting the gorgeous 8x8 eight eight, uh, all surfaces. Tell us about this concept, because they are absolutely glorious. So they're all surfaces that cut out the plastic, so you get the look without the uh, horrible plastic or the encapsulated glitter. So you get the veins for the sort of gold, you get the sort of um, speckles and spattles on there, and then a finer grain on there. You get the marble effect. And the great thing about these is they are paper. Okay, okay, so if this was like a holographic in any sense or an encapsulated glitter, we wouldn't be able to stamp on it. We wouldn't be able to use our embossing on it or paints and things like that. Um, having it like this means it opens so many doors for so much more creativity. Look at that. Now this looks like the gilding flakes that have been like stuck on in areas. So we've tried to create the look. These ones are all very similar, I think. No, we've got some of the same ones, I think. But sort of like the smoky design then the sparkle and then you have like this one looks like glitter but it's yes. obviously not it's to it's a total cheat so you can use your gesso your watercolor you can tear it it sands back beautifully it's 200 gsm so you're not going to be fearful to use it for your matte and layers as well so you get um, 18 two of each in there in both sets so you get the Perfect. black and the sort of burgundy effect in there well, if you want yours, uh, 907 or 480 is your item number. You are getting both the charcoal of oh, the burgundy. Uh, I think everything is fine. I think Amari is, uh, uh, and you can see when once that you kind of get it in here, you can, oh, Amari, Amari is all right. He's grabbing the mystery bag. Uh, can we say, can we just say, uh, Mari is living on Friday. Friday is her last day. Actually, I'm not working on Friday, so this is my last day with you, Mari. Can I have a hug? Can no, I have tears. A hug? no tears. <laughs> no tears. No tears. Oh, I love my our Mari. Ah, I'm. I'm not. You know. She's one of the good ones. It is. <laughs> well, I mean, they are all very good, they but are. she is one of the you know those ones that leaves an imprint that is you know. I'm, I'm just hoping that she's going to come back. They I always mean, do. Yeah, they always they do. They always come back. Yeah, like a boomerang. Um, and some of them, they never leave. Uh, but, um, <laughs> you know. We anyway. can only wish. I'm all no. joking. <laughs> oh, it's, been, it's been an emotional week. Anyway, uh, of course, we have got here the Mr. Bundle. This is the dive one. Nearly 70% of uh, the stock has now gone. And that is 70% is actually the saving that you have got in this bundle as well now this is some of the dies you can get probably we'll get this yeah, one yeah probably we'll get you might get changed out by one possibly two but i have to say contents may vary just in case i do swap one out yeah. so um you get four large a5 dies whole lot of metal so basically you're buying one and getting three i mean three. look at that i just adore this and that one. one just stays in the page and that one is this one that i did yesterday where I sort of like creep the flowers around here. Oh wow, that's so, so sort of gorgeous. like left it quite pastel in yeah. colour, but you can see um, how you get that lovely inlay inside your page. Great for gents' cards, these are really well. Really cool. They are absolutely stunning. A seven three two three two three is your item number. Uh, twenty two pounds and fifty pence is your price uh, for that. Fifty three pounds and forty six pence is your saving. Right, so I'm going to use my lovely um, stencils. And yes. I'm going to create oh. a nice background on this card and we're going to create a little bit of composition. <gasps> nice, I like where you're going. Cool. So I have my um, packet of all the embellishments that I've been playing with, messing with colour on holographic, on on gold. So you can see here some on holographic. I'll give you these actually, oh, sweetheart. Nice. So there we go. So like on some gold as well. So you can see the detail, oh. die cut if you want to. 
they're just absolutely wonderful i cannot tell you how much i am in love with being able to create my own is this gold a uh, one of your gold yeah it's, it's satin. such a beautiful gold yeah. it's like oh it's it's, it's lovely, it's but lovely. I'm not making it anymore. Oh, right. I'm oh. quitting the plastic. I'm oh, trying to be good. good. I'm that's trying good. to be good. good. And I have a ton of it, so I'll have to keep using yeah. it probably for years, but I'm not having any more made because I'm trying to be a good girl. Right. Um, so I have my lovely stencil right. and we have our lovely metals. Right. So let's, shall we do a gold, actually? Oh, indeed. Let's, let's do let's a do gold. Yeah. So I'm just going to grab my uh, one of my stencil brushes here and let's just create um, like a backdrop on this card. So just going to use the leaf here so this just shows you how wonderful it is to have that plate so i'm just going to stencil through and i'll pounce 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 now this is how cool yeah these lovely metal inks are inexpensive guys right. but honestly what you get in return is so so cool for your craft um i'm not asking you to spend expensive money on gilding polishes things like that you get the same results and this is just nine pounds and 89 pence for i think if you six. are to get it in the club so you oh, get a wonderful look at um leaf on there look at that in gold and i'll just yeah. hold it up and so you can see the shimmer oh, bear in mind wow. bear in mind this is my own makeshift stencil so you can imagine how wonderful it's going to look when I have um, my own actual right, stencil. Yeah. So I'm just using the leaf one as a stencil for this card. So I'll just pounce, pounce, pounce. And the great beauty of these as well is when they're dry, you can overlay them with a bit of pink or a bit of colour if you want to. They're simply no rules. And you can these ink pads, because they're a, a, a one inch, one and a half inch cube, mm. I can swipe across the top of the design and get that look, you know. So mm. just... So now we have another one, just hold out there for you, look at that. Looks quite cool, doesn't it? Yeah. So if you wanted to use, maybe build it out a little bit more, pop it on, and then just use one of the other leaves. So I'm creating a little bit of a backdrop, and then we can build on top then. I'm just going to show you how quick and easy it is to do some really cute cards. So you can see that there. And then if you just take some of your die-cut embellishments, right. so here's one in white look and i did it with that metal blue and you can see that shimmer and that sparkle yeah. in there hopefully you can there we go so you can see they work on black and white and then all i'm going to do is i'm going to take maybe this embellishment that i just showed you there mm -hmm. and i'm going to take my foam tape this is how cool this system is i have one embellishment here um and i'm just going to pop it onto that lovely oh nice yeah there like so and we do have um the white pieces as well so let's grab another one here and, and on this one i was just thinking of plastic cutting those like for instance the vines around it and then kind of overlay them well if that's you what we could to. do we could build them in if you want i mean no 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 no, no. i was just thinking about the different ideas because there is so much i mean yes they come with the dice but there's no reason why you couldn't add them even oh, more yeah, detail you, you know like kind of build those lovely yeah. embellishments in there i mean look at i'll just show, yeah. hold those up and just show you the 3d it just yeah that's so so and then like paula just said there because that is a fantastic idea look oh like yeah. you have it as a drop shadow oh that yes that would work oh, great shout that yeah. let's do it Great let's shout. you can yeah. tell she's a crafter let's well, do it I mean, let's do it you know when it's like kind of this is one of it those just items speaks. No, yeah exactly yeah constantly does the the creative class because there's so much you can do it like oh i like that yeah all right, all right, you can have credit for that one. No, I, I won't just take today. credit. No, just no, 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 today. no, no, just, you know me, I like, I, like, I'm one of these ones that I wouldn't always want to acknowledge that if it's somebody else's idea or somebody like in my head saying something, I will always say, oh, that's the producer, that's the director, that's, you know, so I, I hate like the idea of taking credit for any, anybody and we'll else's just That's word. got no colour on, but I think you can get the idea. Yeah. So there we go, let's just, let's just show that was super easy i mean the stencil's given us a little bit of a filler on our card so we don't have to fill it full of embellishments we can totally fill it with the stencil element from the back of our card yeah well of course it, that is thank you so much Tony. we'll be back right. in a second that is of course using the brand new and exclusive the world launch of these embossing folders with that hd design 3d but of course with the dies included within them remember this is uh, somewhere so it's exclusive so you cannot find it anywhere else in the whole world designed by stands by me you have that elegance
classic, timeless, that it means that whatever sort of style you want, if you want to go grungy, you can go grungy. Because they are florals, we are, have got the peony, the hibiscus and the rose, it's something that you can then put it in many sentiments, whether you are thinking of car making, whether thinking of you, best wishes, happy anniversary, happy birthday, they always will look fantastic. But also think about your DIY, like kind of your um, upcycling, creating wreath, paper wreaths. These will make it so much easier and so much more realistic. Let's have a look at this stylish card there. Absolutely stunning with that DL proportion. And they are things like this, like I'm inspired by your strength. These are what the flowers are. It are beautiful flowers that give you that detail, that possibility, that versatility in terms of techniques. And of course, in terms of messages, art journaling, just do it because you enjoy working with flowers. Look at that beautiful element. I wonder what, who is that one? Paul Shelley, maybe? Yes, it is one of Paul's. I, you know, I know his style. I kind of have such a style crush on Paul because he has got that kind of grungy layering, layering up. But if you don't like that layering up, that kind of grunginess, these are also working perfectly for a clean and simple card. You can see there a beautiful version of what Tony has just created, the beautiful blue as well. Think about your matting and layering with papers that bring that color as well and highlight the color of the flowers. Whether you want to use the beautiful old surfaces papers there, you can see saying hello with a burgundy Merlot sort of color. That is phenomenal. And of course, flowers are timeless. They are, you know, not gender specific. And of course, you have in the club an incredible deal for you. Eight pounds and 40 pence saving for a brand new and exclusive. And of course, two flexes, which means flexing it in the club, it will cost you 19 pounds and 79 pence. Over 60% of the stock has gone. This is a 24 hour stock. So remember, you need to secure yours by checking your baskets out. 727386 is your item number. If you want yours, you know what to do. Get head to the website or giving us a call or tap the app. Now, the mystery bundle with the dice, remember saving a 70% of the price. And if you if you are in the club, and 80% of the stock has now gone. So remember, you need to check your baskets out. Otherwise, it's not yours. But the contents may vary in the sense that probably it will be those four, but it might be one or two that will be different. Uh, but it's just to, to secure that you can get an incredible deal. The way I see it is you're paying for one and you're getting three for free. So even if there is, as long as you get one of them that you like, then that is a good deal. 497428 is your item number for the Isings Metal mini ink pad they are pigment but a water base and of course nine pounds and 18 pounds is your price and they have got the beautiful iridescent nature that went on top of black looks absolutely amazing remember to grab yours to secure yours you need to check your baskets out look at that it's so they're really good. cute and super affordable and these are just little ink pads that are a bit beautiful for your desk just to add a highlight a hue they're not really um, going to give you longevity in relation to backgrounds and textures and things like that of course you can stencil through but these are going to be the ones that you just add the highlights to tops of 3d images stencil through to get that metallic finish on they're brilliant on black card as well so um Fantastic. So and this is just the a thing. There's so, so many techniques that you can use with those ones to uh, you know, yeah. accentuate things. And because they stay wet for longer, you can yeah. pop your sparkly embossing powders on top and heat set them as well. Okay. Right, so um, let's just show you um, some that I've already pre cut from the Dainty Hibiscus. Now, Dainty Hibiscus and the Rose as well. Now, I just want to show you where 3D embossing folders were born with Stamps by Me due to our watercolouring. We did them, we weren't afraid to put one single flower on an embossing folder just in the corner and paint it. And it's just grown from strength to strength. So I'm going to go back to the roots and we're going to go and just show you how wonderful they are if you want to paint them. Now you can use your ink pads, you can use your, I've got my neons here, they mm. are the brightest paint I've ever seen in yeah. my life. It's the too bright, if brush. I'm honest, from the phone thirsty, <laughs> too bright for me, but I would rather have them too bright yeah. and be able to scale them back yeah. than have them like awesome. um, dishwater. Yeah, I mean, they are absolutely bright and they are beautiful. I mean, I'm not necessarily a neon person, but I adore these ones. Yeah, I remember so when we had Emma doing them, I was just like, oh, yeah. I want them. 
So to paint these, these are uh, die cut on watercolour cards, so I'm going to get a bit of movability. I can mm -hmm. play around with colour if I want to. But the way that I like to just do them and cut out the um, understanding of light and shade is just give them a spritz with some water. I did show this yesterday. It's super easy, guys. Don't put yourself under stress. Just wet the cardstock, take a little bit of paint, and then just drop it into the um, water that you've just sprayed onto the card and the watercolour will just sit in all of those wonderful fine lines. Now I always say don't cover the whole card, leave white space, even if you don't think you're good at light and shade, just leave some white somewhere, like I've left a little bit of a halo around the edge there. So let's just pull this one in. Perfect. So just pounce, I pounce and it just seems to go into all of the lovely uh, recesses. I don't, I don't waste too much time worrying about it. Uh, my best cards are made from just like carefree. Uh, boy, that's um, we, sometimes that's all we want to do, like a carefree kind of crafting and then kind of assemble it and later day. Look at that green. I mean, it's just such a neon. <laughs> it's wonderful, isn't it? If you put it on in your room. It's proper, it's more than you, it's fluorescent, I remember. Well, it glows in the dark. It glows in the dark, yeah. So if you want to do it onto um, kids' things and stuff like that, yeah. kids' walls, you know, they can absolutely do that. So you can just drop in a little bit of darker. Just let the water do the work. Yeah, yeah. Um, that watercolours are called watercolours for a reason. Just drop the colour in and just let it just... Um, so let's just add a bit more darker shade to here. So I didn't dry it off, so oh, I'm just dropping a little that. bit more in. Yeah. I'll let it just move, let it just Absolutely. do its thing, and then I'll oh, spread it around so in a gorgeous. second. By the way, the ink pads, the metallic ink pads, are now limited to stock. I'm not surprised, 90% already gone. If you have them in your basket, you need to check them out. If you have been thinking about it, now is your chance to grab them. 497 428. So let's just drop a bit of colour into the top of here, just to highlight that. There we go. So we'll just let those just take, as you can see, you're getting right. like veins on there. It's wonderful. Don't stress yourself out about it, though. You know, just drop the colour in and leave it be. So let's just pop a bit of yellow. Uh, yellow. Like, oh. 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 <laughs> it is yellow, isn't it? It's so yeah. bright. But like, again, it's bled into the pink there. Just drag it out. It'll be fine. You get a different colour yeah. in your flower. It'll be fine. Don't and how this? Because they do sort of what have What colour are they traditionally? Oh, well, they can be very bright pink. It can be yellows. It can be reddish. So lots it of can be, Yeah, there is a lot of colours. There's orange or something. And then if you do that and you're thinking, do you know what? I'll, uh, it's not exactly as I planned. Just take yeah. a tissue and just pull it back. Ah, uh, yeah. You can push it back and start, like, start again if you want to. So let's just get a bit of colour onto this card here. Now, it is cool to do a bit of a wash, so let's just pop some water on here, a pile of water. And again, if you don't have these, don't worry about it. You can use your ink pads. These are, I think, is there right. any of these yeah. left? I'm not sure. But oh, you can... let's have a look. It's the third. Oh, oh we, we have got, uh, well, basically the next person to, to grab them. They will get them. Uh, uh, details at the bottom of the, uh, the screen. So basically, I'm just doing the sort oh, of technique <gasps> where you pick up I, the colour. Yeah. Get some colour on there. Let's just add some more. I'm try because they're so bright. I'm being super tight because yeah. I'm not into the super super bright. But I think I need. Do you think I need to go for it? I'll go for it. Okay. Yeah. I think the neon uh, is now technically gone. If you have them in your baskets, you need to check those baskets out. Uh, oh, Emerald, busy will be Emerald will be screaming at Telly saying, yeah. "Get some colour on there." Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Oh, are you, are you a bit powerless. happy now? Yeah. I've done it. I did yeah. it. <laughs> Mm. Everybody will be proud. Oh, look at that. <laughs> let's get a bit of texture. Oh, let's leave that because that texture looks cool, doesn't it? And this is the, the kind of thing that I'm kind of going in like, yes, I can still say, <laughs> you know. There's a little bit of glow in the dark. Hmm. So, let's just blast these um, flowers off with right. my gun. Oh, oh. Sorry, we it, just needs a, it just needs a click yeah. at the wall, is that shall all right? I, Shall we give you a little reminder of the brand new and exclusive in the meantime? 727-386 uh, is your item number and exclusive. Uh, you have got there, remember, two flexes, so then you can add other elements and flexi by those ones as well. And then we have got more coming up. Uh, we have got the mystery bundle of those, and now that is limited stock, 90% already gone. Grab your secure yours. 732323 two, three, two, three is your item number. £22.50 for four of those sets that are, you know, either 5 by 7 or, um, you know, like a lot sort of metal size. It's a fantastic value for money. It is, isn't it? It's wonderful. Yeah. 
And if you've never seen Stamped by Me before and you're thinking, do you know what, I'm not into the 3D, yeah. I don't under quite understand it yet, I'm still a beginner. Um, it's a great introductory to yeah. Stamped by Me because you'll be able to see Absolutely. the depth of what we're about as a company. They all have QR codes on there as well, so you're going to get that inspiration. So there's our lovely back. Now, we have our lovely sort of flowers, but they're looking, although they're 3D, because I've painted them, they're looking a bit flat. So I'm going to just bring them up a little bit and I'm going to use the... Uh, I think. Yeah. I'm just gonna. Oh. oh, the ink pads have now technically gone. If you still have them in your baskets, so this you is giving me that wonderful yeah. rose goldy finish on and there. Nice. That's so nice. It's just such a, and I love that they are kind of metallic, but they are not like they are absolutely Too perfect much. to yeah. to kind of highlight something, not overwhelm it. Especially the green, I think it just works yeah, so like beautifully. This green has just sort of like given that that pop yeah. of colour I absolutely needed. Perfect. Just picks up those veins yeah. in there. And this is watercolour card, remember, ladies and gents, which is nice too. So, so then all this needs is a stamped sentiment. And let's just go ahead. Uh, now, do you know what as well, though? If you have the courage, I mean, mine's a really juicy black ink pad, but if you have the courage right, to go... Right, yeah. In fact, let me just show you on this one more. So this is gold. I know I'm in the middle of a demo, I'm right. sorry. Um, black ink pad on here. If you just lightly, if you've got a, if you've yeah. got a steady hand, if you just lightly brush... Okay, yeah. Watch what happens. It picks up that rise and fall. I'm doing it very lightly here. But again, I could go around with my die now and I could absolutely yeah. cut these out. Oh, that's nice. Like, um, you could do this with oh, your I sticky... I love that. You could do this with your sticky ink pad yeah. too. Could you also bring a sanding block or something yes, like that? Yes, sand it back, of course. How cool would that be? So I'm just... Let's just hold that. Just to show you. Yeah. And because this is a hybrid, it will dry on the, um, you know, on the um, satin card, right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah it's wonderful. That is beautiful. It's just, they're just, and honestly, when you get these home, you probably just will experiment. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Well, it's not the end of the world. It's a piece of card, isn't it? So then all I'm going to do here is um, just, so you could just build your, comp I mean, this is a neon card. This yeah. is really bright. But you could just build your composition. Here's one that we painted yesterday in the teal. So if you want to. Oh, that, that, that compliment, yeah, they're yeah. not getting that were getting lost on there, wasn't it? So, but if you're not a colorist and thinking, do you know what? I don't want to color. Well, here's one I cut in paper. Yeah, let's take that out. I've got, I've got tons and tons of. So again, I think the beauty of it is when you've just seen me there create about three or four yes. compositions, and that is the beauty of the new HD 3D embossing folders. Is the very fact that you have one cut, one pass. You get 3D embellishments that are die cut that you can build and make your own unique cards, okay. home decor, and things like that. Well, if you want yours, uh, seven two seven three eight six is your item number. I'm sitting here quietly. I'm thinking. Oh, and there's this and this yeah. and that, you know, kind of, you know, using your favorite colors if you want to go for your favorite colors, where you want to go bring in different techniques of embossing folders, different embossing te dice um, techniques as well. This is one of those ones that is three in one. You can use the embossing folders with the dies as they come in. You can separate the die so that you can use the die on its own and then, of course, the embossing folder on its own. So three different products in one, giving you that absolutely stunning detail that you have because, of course, we are talking about HD 3D embossing folders by Stand By Me. And also, I love that you have given flowers, which is the kind of, you know, the most universal way of using They're same, timeless, aren't they? Yeah, they They're are. absolutely timeless. They're going to see you across the board, whether it's those cards that we don't like to make, whether it's the cards that yeah. we do love to make. Again, for, great for masculine, just change out the colour. You got gents, some of the best gents cards are made with flowers. Yesterday I did this one, you'll be proud of me. Oh. I did this one, in, so that's the that's background. Lovely. So I took out the plate and I did the background on there. Mm. Look at that. I was quite chuffed with this card if you hadn't got them. That is just so... A couple of layers. So if you want to see how I did this card with the black and the detail and that gold on, all you need to do is go back and check yesterday's shows, okay? So the detail on there is wonderful. So you can leave them in the card if you want to and then... Oh, and there is lots of different. Oh, at least show it because it's also That's like. That's one I did second time round, but it was not my colours. It was too bright. But then you can see as well, like kind of this could but be a perfect. Put, if I, I, I put the cool. die on that now yeah. and put out those embellishments, I, I would, would have lovely And also the other thing is that, yes, it comes with a die, but you can do a little bit of fussy cutting if you wanted to as well. 727386 is your item number. Okay. And of course, if you want yours, you know what to do. This is a brand new exclusive. Tony will be back at 10 o'clock on Craft Extra with myself. 
So there's going to be more demonstrations. Yeah, then. we're back at ten o'clock. I forgot. Yeah, we <laughs> so on crab exercise. So, yeah. I think we'll just keep going with yes. the techniques and things that I you can love do. This. So you can paint them up there. That's the one behind the one I just did live on air, which is um, clean, simple, and pretty. If you yeah. want to, um, it's totally up to you. And then we have um, maybe ones like this where Sharon's got into quite a bit of detail here, where she's gone back in and highlighted with a white pen. And I just brought them. that detail back. This looks like a mould to me. If you, if somebody said, what is this from a distance? I'd be like, yes. that, is that a mould? But as you get closer, you realise it's that beautiful HD 3D. Mm -hmm. so, the yeah. detail is, I mean, look at the leaves here. Look at the detail in those leaves. Absolutely beautiful. Now, we have had a question and set from Sarah. And I know you are the right person to ask because I... Uh, Sarah has asked, can she put colour into our ink pad, into an ink pad rabbit, uh, onto the embossing folder before she runs yeah, it? Yeah, that's why mine are a mess. Yeah. <laughs> I used black yesterday live in show. But yeah, if you run um, colour through and you run it through your machine, you're going to get that pressed colour into the cardstock. It's wonderful. Yeah. It's a wonderful technique. There are so many techniques. Use your sticky ink on the embossing mm -hmm. folder, shut it through, run it through your machine, then take it out and throw your embossing powders, your wow embossing powders on it, your gold, your silvers, do the salt and pepper technique, heat set it, and then you're going to a 3D image on the back as well. There are so many possibilities with these embossing folders, and mm -hmm. this is why we are very excited, and so are you. Uh, remember, two fluxes, and if you are in the club, well, it's just under uh, 20 pounds today, 19 pounds and 79 pence and the only reason i remember it because that's the year i was born uh, <laughs> right <laughs> no. uh, then of course on the website you can find everything that we have sent in there as well and of course we are going to try to show uh, that question that uh, sarah had emailed in about regarding inking the embossing folders now this would apply not only with these embossing folders but any of your hd yeah um, absolutely you can do it with any embossing folders so uh, let's do the um rows shall we i'll take out the die and i'll show you how i like to do it so okay. I just pull it out and put that set that to a side so I'm, I'll, what i'll do is i'll ink both sides and then you can choose the deboss yeah. or the emboss whatever you want to do so let's get um an ink pad let's go and i like to spray mine you know yeah. um with a bit of water mm -hmm. but you don't have to so i'm just going to swipe 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 i'll just swipe it all over right. so this side will go teal for the fun and yeah. you can, if you can, if you want to press a little bit harder and get into that detail, you can so do that. So just cover the whole embossing folder. Don't forget you'll have to cut your card right. down yeah. when you take it out. So let's do teal that side. And then on this side, let's do a purpley colour. Nice. And we will spray it. Is that a good uh, colour combo for you? Like yeah, the... purple and teal. I think oh. everybody loves purple. Yeah. I think we're all a bit crazy with colour, aren't we? Yeah. So I'm going to do both and we'll see what it comes out like. And again, it's a piece of card. If I don't like it, I can put it in the bin. But the best experiments are from you just playing honestly just have fun with them they're indestructible they're only a bit of plastic they can't hurt anything let me just trim this card down here and then we'll just run this one through i'm going to spray the embossing folder because i like the look of a bit not too much though yesterday i saturated it and i was nearly having kittens because i thought i'd ruined it but let's just add well that bit, would be the best thing having kittens a bit of color in. No, so i'm just going to pop the card into the embossing folder we'll shut it shut yeah without getting it all over yourself. Yeah. And then let's just run this one through. So I'm gonna end up with two totally different looks, emboss and deboss. So I'll just grab my um uh, and this is for Sarah, uh, of course, who has emailed us in. Uh, this is where studio at createandcraft.com is always the way to get in contact with us, especially during the live shows, so we can answer your questions. And sometimes, even like now, demonstrate. And yeah, well, don't forget, though, with our products, we've been doing it for years, the yeah. QR code. We exactly. have 1,300 videos of all the products wow. I've brought to you at Create and Craft, and I'm so 11 years on creating craft in September so you know if you buy anything there's going yep. to be that QR code with and I'm live every Monday night at 8 p.m. showcasing right for I always do a demo of what we just launched the week before or what I launched three years ago I had to touch on it so here we go oh look at that that's so cool so that's what the look you get like so let's turn it over let's have a look what's going on here oh I do like this <laughs> that is so, so cool. you decide what um what uh, side which do you, which do you like oh i think i think they're both very cool but i think i'm i'm gonna go for the purpley pinky side i'm going for teal oh you're sorry doing about you oh sorry about it. i mean to be honest decisions decisions sorry about you Alain. do you know what though i'm just 
Oh, I was just thinking if you cut it in half and turned it, oh, no, it won't Are you it. Uh, No, that would But that look now, although I've done it like that and I took yeah. the die out to create that sort of look, if I didn't like it, don't waste it, guys. Grab the die. Yeah. Okay, cut it through. Yeah. Run it through and I'll have all of the embellishments that I'll just, in fact, let's do it. Have I got time? Yeah, uh, we have about, about a minute and a half. So right, let's do it. Let's if do not, it. of course, join us on Craft Extra. Uh, Tony and myself will be on Craft Extra at 10 o'clock. Uh, and you can also, again, email us in any questions. If you have got any suggestion, oh, I want to see that technique again, do or make sure to message us, say, on the, uh, on the um, subject uh, of the email, say, uh, stands by me, Craft Extra. And do you know what? Once I've cut this one through, Right. I can then go in and highlight, I yep. can add texture, I can add detail. And do you know what? If my die cutting plates flatten my 3D embossing, guess what? what? I can run them back through. Perfect. That's the beauty of it, isn't it? It's just wonderful. Let's just take this off here because it's a little bit wet. Oh. Right. There we go. There it is. Look at that. Oh. But oh, also, look at on. that. Look at this. That and this is very cool because if you are, do want to do like say for instance a wreath <gasps> and then it's hanging out and then you can go in front and back front and back so there we have look it look at us look that at is that. a white that is cool i it? love they this look like a whitewash yes i love this uh sarah well thank done, you so sarah. much uh, you know for uh, inspiring uh tony to create this in the, but of course do make sure to join us